All right, guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a move that I showed a recent student of mine in a lesson that completely transformed his solidness of contact. In fact, everyone I've ever showed this to or any player I've seen who demonstrates this move correctly hits the ball very solid. That's why we put 100% success right now. I've never seen a player do this well and not hit the ball solid. And it's all about how your lower body works to start the downswing. And I'm gonna show you sort of a simple concept, maybe a little bit different um, than you've seen before. The way I explain it to this student, he, he sort of expressed he'd never seen it this way before. I'm hoping this helps you as well. I'm gonna give you a couple concepts. One main simple drill I did with him that I'm gonna show you, a couple different feels and variations to help you hit it more solid. Here's the simple version. If I take my setup, I've got an eight iron. I've got a club in line with the golf ball. Maybe we'll put a line on the screen here for visual. The thing that I showed my student, and we'll show some players on the screen here, is that every good ball striker gets their entire lower body past the ball line in the downswing. Okay, and that makes sense. And when you see the images on the screen, you know, that sort of seems like it may be obvious, but maybe you haven't thought about that as a little cue or a checkpoint before, but when you look at these players, draw that line up the golf ball line, all of them get their entire, not some of, not most of, but all of their lower body in front of the ball line into their follow through. And that really does four important things for you when you get your hips forward. Number one, moving your hips forward on the way down and through uh, moves your low point forward. So it enables you to hit the ball first, ground second. It's one of the big things my students struggled with, with his hips too far back. But number one, it moves the low point forward for solid contact. Number two, from down the line, as my hips move forward of that line, that helps swing the club from inside. Number three, that helps shallow out the angle of a, attack or approach of the club head to the ball, so you get some nice shallow divots. And number four, it gives you power. Solid contact, swing from inside, shallow angle of attack, power. Those all sound good, right? That's what my student wanted. But like the gentleman that I was working with, he had the opposite, right? If those four are true, that means when you make a downswing and your hips stay back, like my student, his hips never got all the way forward, maybe half of them with no turn, hips too far back. He had all those issues that come with that. His low point was too far back. Instead of swinging from inside, he swung over the top. Instead of being shallow, he was steep. And instead of having power, he hit it too short. So if you resonate with any of those, you have any of those issues, not solid contact, not hitting it far enough, too far over the top and steep, this is something that could really help you. So the drill that I started with him with, and this is how you can start too, is just to put a club in line with the golf ball. And again, we can put a line on the screen here and we'll show some of the pros doing this. And we started, I've got an eight iron, we started the same way. Now again, his issue, which may be like yours, is his hips didn't push forward really at all and didn't turn. He wasn't activating or using his lower body correctly. And I really wanted him to look like this into the follow through position for all those benefits. So we put a club in line with the golf ball. We started with an eight iron. I said, why don't we start with a little half swing and let's hit a little shot here to start where we hit a little half. When I hit an eight iron there and that's probably, I don't know, 120 maybe yards or so and focus on just getting this position where all of my hips and lower body are past that line. That's all I want you to focus on to start with. Don't worry about any of the details yet, how or when, we'll get into that. But just simply focus on, okay, relative to my starting position, I wanna to get to a point where into my finish, I get all of my hips pushed in front of that line. And what I'm looking for in the beginning with those little half ones is, can I hit the ball first and ground second? That's the big thing. Can I hit the ball consistently solid? So we worked through some of that and some of the timing, and we went from this little half swing into about a three quarter swing. Can I make a three quarter swing and focus the same thing? All of my lower body needs to get past that line into my follow through. And can I do that and hit the ball first, ground second, and hit it very solid? And as we were working through some of the details, right, he said to me, okay, this sounds good, but like, give me some more info. How do I do this? Am I supposed to feel me working into my lead side? Should I feel me on my trail side? I said, really, we can do both and you can do both as well. If you wanna feel the lead side, basically what that would feel like for you is right away when you start down, 
and we'll talk about the timing here. We talked this, you look at these pros, the timing, if we go up to the top of the backswing, maybe with, um, you'll see Tommy Fleetwood, you'll see Xander, Colin Morikawa, from the top of the backswing to the first like foot by left arm parallel, they've already got most of their hips past that line, maybe 60, 70%. By the time they get to last parallel, they've got you know maybe 80% of their hips forward of that line. And by impact, their right hip's almost even with it. Maybe 90% of their hips are past it. And then all the way through into the completion. So it's not as though this is happening like late in the downswing, is it? This is happening early in the downswing. So I showed him some of those visuals and said, okay, look, okay, you, you gotta go pretty early. So we tried the lead side feels. I said, okay, if what you're gonna feel like is you're falling into your lead foot. If there was a scale underneath your lead foot, maybe it said 50% at the top, you're gonna to feel like it goes 60, 70, 80, 90. Like you're gonna do that pretty early to start the downswing. So we played around with that a little bit. We're at the three quarter swing here still. And I'm feeling like I'm gonna fall into my left foot as I start down. And he liked that and that helped, but he still wasn't quite getting his hips all the way through. And as we were doing that, I was showing him one of the big caveats. There's two big ones when you're doing this. As I'm falling into my lead side and pushing my hips forward, where's my head going with it? Does my head go way forward as I do that? Or does my head stay pretty back? My head stays pretty back, right? So I talked him through that. And as you're doing this, while your hips go forward, and we'll show some of the pros, my head doesn't go all the way forward with it, does it? My hips go forward but my head stays back. I need all of my hips forward to that line while my head stays back over that ball line. And the point about the head staying back is the piece that helps get the club from inside and helps shallow the angle of attack. If I move my hips forward and I had my head go away with it, I might be able to hit ball first, but you can see what that does to the club, way too steep, way too over the top like this gentleman had. So you gotta keep your head back. The second thing to keep note of as you're doing this, as I'm pushing my hips forward, is the rotation. Now when I'm doing this, and I'm, am I pushing my hips forward while they stay pointed at the ball? No, none of the pros look like that, right? Let's put the pros in the screen. Where are their hips going? As they're pushing forward, their hips are pointed towards the target. So my head stays back as my hips push forward, but my hips are most certainly turned towards the target. As I get into this finished position, that should look pretty much like the pros. My hips are fully turned. So two keys when you're pushing your hips forward that all good players do, your head's gotta stay back as you do it, and your hips have to turn as you do it. So we were working through this, hey, should I feel falling in my left? And you can try that to start. But again, remember, as you're falling into your left, your head can go forward a little early but that's it, then that stays back as your hips push forward. Head stays back, a little bit of right side crunch as that's happening. Hips push forward, head stays back. A little bit of a side crunch, and those are all very solid, very high, kind of slight draw. Eight iron, so we worked through that. And I didn't love the way he was pushing his hips through. So we said, okay, why don't we try the right side, kind of keeping it down at the bottom. If you don't like feeling the falling into the left, you can feel pushing off the right. I can feel like I'm starting to push off the inside part of my right foot to push my hips through. He said, Eric, well, how, how soon do I do this? So I pulled those pros back up and we looked at them. We said, well, pretty much right away, right? Pretty much right away, their hips are going forward. Their hips are going forward and turning as their head stays back. So I can feel like I'm pushing off the inside part of my right foot as my you know, pushing off the inside part of my right foot to push the hips forward. My head's staying back over the ball line, and obviously my hips are turning as they're pushing forward. So I can push off that inside of my right foot. And the whole time I'm doing these drills, I've got one common end goal, which is what? All of my lower body has to get forward of that line. Never seen a ball striker do that and not hit the ball very consistently solid. Never, ever in my life. So we went from left side to right side, right? And this was the main drill that we sort of ended with. I said, hey, I either record yourself, draw a line at the ball or, or use this. And just when you're making swings here and when you guys are out on the course, use the golf ball as a marker and make sure your whole lower body gets forward of it. Look at me and look at those pros. The lower body's forward, the head stays back. Now, 
from a different, you know, I gave him a couple different options. I said, this is pretty simple. Two other common ways we'll do this. You could also literally put an object by your right hip or think about, let's draw a line up on my right hip. If you want to kind of take the feels from your feet up to your hips, I can have this line up my right hips. And as my, all of my lower body would get past the ball on the ground, that also means watch my hip compared to that line way off that line and forward, right from face on. So a second little thing that I showed him as a drill, we put a little object here by the right hip. Let's just draw a line up. And I wanna feel like my right hip really pushes through and I'm pushing off my right foot, pushing my right hip through. And that's the piece that gets me into the finish. You can see how far my hips went away from that line. That's another solid high little draw. So that's a different variation. And the last variation that I showed him that we use a lot, you can just put one in front of your lead hip instead of your trail hip. Now, I would kind of put it up outside of my toes here. I don't like thinking about lead hip for this, because if you're thinking lead hip around, that doesn't get him forward enough often. So what I like for this lead side feel, different way to do the same thing, is to take your belt buckle and feel like you're pushing it into that wall. Push your belt buckle into that wall. I'm still feeling the right hip fire through, but I got this wall up the outside part of my leg. I'm gonna get all of my hips past the ball and push my belt buckle into that wall. And that's a different variation of the same thing. So the simple version, if you wanna keep it simple, use the golf ball when you're practicing or playing or put an object you know, in front of that, get all of your lower body by that. If you like the right wall, hip wall option, get off of that. If you like the left one, get to it, okay? Four big uh, benefits here, solid contact, swing from inside, shallow angle of attack, and lots of power. I've said it a couple times, but I've never, ever, ever seen someone do this and not hit it solid. So if you're struggling with solid contact, I think this is a big one. If you have any questions, as always, about any of this stuff, leave me a comment down below. Appreciate you guys watching.